right it's a reasonably bright uh, morning so uh, it's which camera to take uh, I've narrowed it down to these three do I take the Zenza uh, Bronica 6x6 uh, I don't think so I think that's gonna be a bit too heavy for, for me to walk around the reservoir where I'm going uh, this camera is the contacts uh, the big D I think they call it uh, I've never used this camera I need to try it out really but uh, I think today I'm going to go out with the Holger and see how I'll go on with that so that's the camera I'm going to take now then in the video uh, for people who don't understand Yorkshire uh, I know I say e by gum quite a lot and I say siling it down now e by gum uh, is an expression of surprise um, and siling it down uh, means that it's raining heavy so I just thought I'd uh, do that bit of interpretation for you so you know what I'm on about <laughs> okay right I'm going to get off now uh, and then go to uh, my location which is uh, Thrushcross Reservoir you know sometimes as uh, photographers we often feel a uh, are guilty that we don't go out and take pictures. I think a lot of us suffer from that, and I certainly do. I like to go out at least once a week, perhaps two times a week, just to go out and take pictures. I love photography that much. So today I thought I'd set off to a, a beautiful place in the Washburn Valley, and uh, I took the Holger 120N, because when I set off, the sun was shining. But on the way, it started to really rain heavy. Then it stopped, brightened up a little bit, but the showers got heavier and heavier and the light kept falling. So I thought, well, I've made a big mistake here uh, and I've, I've fetched the wrong camera. But anyway, I carried on and uh, as you can see here, we're approaching uh, what they call Thrushcross Reservoir. It's uh, quite famous, this reservoir, because underneath this reservoir is the village of Blubber Houses. Um, the people will move from there uh, to allow this reservoir to be made. Uh, you can sometimes see the ruins when the reservoir drops to very low levels. It's quite an interesting place, but it's an absolutely beautiful area, right on the edge of the Washburn Valley. Now, I didn't take a lot of pictures today, I had to abandon, but uh, I didn't really think I'd get anything worth looking at, but I'll leave you to decide whether I came up with some decent pictures. So I'm approaching the reservoir now and then we'll see how we go uh, from there. So I've actually reached the reservoir now. I think we get a good view of it. Beautiful place. Right, walk around see if we can find something to photograph. That's the actual dam wall itself. Um, I've been here when it's been pouring down those, uh, uh, I don't know what, they, they're like a, a release valve when, they, when the reservoir at the other side gets too full. Just pouring out there. Amazing. Carry on, see what we can see. I think I've uh, found my first shot and it's this it's these steps these old steps leading to the top so the sun's coming out I'll just take a picture of that now there's no real exposure information I can share with the Holger other than the aperture was around f.8 nobody really knows and the shutter speed anywhere between 80 and uh, 120 fifth of a second the main thing with the Holger is to hold it steady, compose through the view viewfinder and all, always keep in mind that you'll get more uh, in the picture than the viewfinder is showing. And uh, this is the first picture that I took. Uh, 
Right, I'm heading towards the reservoir now, and I just thought I might take a picture of these trees. They're looking upwards with the hole and see how it renders it. So I'm going to take that picture now. Considering the Holger 120N is such a cheap and medium format camera, plastic lens, one shutter speed, one aperture, two if you're lucky, and yet it can produce these beautiful, timeless looking images, soft at the edges and sharp in the centre. It really does produce its own unique look and pictures that are different from your normal type of cameras. So peaceful. I absolutely love it. I'm not antisocial, but I just love it when I'm on my own and I can just uh, think quietly, reflect quietly, and just take in the scenery. You know, listening to the wind, undisturbed, no traffic noise, no people making the noise. It's just fantastic. Love it. Trees are slowly dancing in that wind. Just breaking up that wind, hitting the, the walk around the reservoir, which is good. Just lovely to hear that wind and see the trees moving. <laughs> it's really starting to get a bit rough now. This is one of the old uh, buildings. I think this was an old mill, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, obviously, it's higher than the water in the reservoir. It's like showing that uh, you know, you can believe below there, all along here, there's a natural uh, village that's uh, covered with water. I'd like to have taken a picture of this, but. Uh, it's very dull at the moment now, I don't think the Holger's going to cope. <laughs> I think I've come out of it wrong camera. Never mind, it's a walk. I have to get sheltered now, it's really coming down. You know, when it's like this, the weather, it can be really uh, soul destroying. When you've set your heart on doing something, and the weather dictates and stops you. I really did want to walk around this reservoir. Uh, it's about four and a half miles. But, uh, you know, I went there to take pictures and uh, unfortunately the, the location now was getting really, really hard to photograph with the Holger. Uh, so I retraced and met my steps back on the footpath, uh, desperately looking for some dark, uh, dark areas against light areas. To, to get this contrast and uh, I just happened to look up on the way back and I saw again uh, the, this uh, break in the canopy on the trees uh, so I just uh, lifted it all up, took the photograph and uh, I'm really pleased the way it's turned out we've got this lovely dark contrast against the, uh, the bright sky and uh, the way the holger has softened the edges again it draws your eye right into the centre of the picture it's a really really unique camera uh, is the Holger in the type of images that it can produce. I mean that picture, I've done nothing with it other than to just add some contrast. Anyway, I carried on walking, by this time it was getting even darker and wetter, uh, and I saw uh, these trees hanging over the footpath, and I love that again the contrast between the dark trees and the, the, uh, the, the light uh, that was on the water on the reservoir. So picked the camera up again, got it out of the bag, took the shot, uh, not thinking I would get anything from it. I, I thought it would be totally underexposed, but it's turned out quite well. 
uh, I was I was pleased with the two shots that I took there. Uh, now I'm pleased now that I've seen them, uh, but at that time I didn't think I would get anything. Anyway, from there I carried on uh, to the uh, road that goes over uh, the, the reservoir itself. Just going to walk towards the end of this path, or oh, sorry, road. I'm on the path and uh, photograph looking down and hopefully I can get the sun in when it's sort of peeking through the clouds so see how we go Right, it's a change of plan. Uh, it's absolutely signing it down. Sun keeps coming out, but it's just too rough. And when I'm walking around the reservoir, it's it's just too dark for the holger. Um, so I'm just going to go up onto the tops and uh, see if I can find any photographs there with the holger. I'm trying to catch some atmospheric shots if I can. Uh, you know, with the, the the sun sort of uh, poking its head through the clouds and. If I can take a picture while while it's like that with the rain coming down, I might get some sort of atmospheric shot. I don't know. On days like this, you never know what to expect. But uh, we'll just move up now to the tops and see what we can find. Just taking a picture of those trees. It's just gone in now, the sun. I just thought it might make a nice um, sort of abstract uh, mood image. I had to take it quickly. Um, on a very narrow road, so I better move on or so we're getting in trouble. <laughs> As we can see in this picture, we've got the softer edges around the image out of focus and the transition to the centre, which is sharper. And in this picture, we've got the sun uh, behind the trees. Uh, the Holger for me just doesn't um, take pictures, it creates images. I know it's not for everybody, but I think it turns the everyday photograph into more of a photographic art form. Just another quick shot from the car. Again, I've got the sun, see it just poking its head through now, and this tree, I don't know if I've got it all in. It's so wet out there, I can't really get out to take pictures, so I'll just do it from the land. Oh, it's absolutely awful out there now. I've taken nine photographs, so uh, no, I'm on my ninth one. So I'll, I'm slowly going to head back home. Uh, if I don't take any more, that'll do do for today. I've just wet through. So, uh, but we'll see as as I move along. The, the the sun keeps breaking through the clouds, and if I can find some foreground interest, like I've just done, I'll, I'll stop and take a picture. So this is the uh, picture that I took and uh, I'm quite pleased with it now I see it. You know, when I look at these pictures from the Holger, I often wonder what if I'd have come out on a day like it was this day, uh, where on the video, on the GoPro, it looks a lot brighter than, than what it was. What the picture would have looked like if it had taken them, say, my Mamiya 6, the square format or the Roliflex, I don't think it would have uh, had the uh, same mood that the that the, uh, the Holger uh, creates. I don't know what you think, I'd like to hear your opinion on that. But I do think the Holger excels in, in certain conditions. But you have to concentrate on these uh, duller days to try and find light, some sort of light in the picture, just to give that uh, added dynamics to the, to the uh, image itself. I had to do this on the uh, lakeside when I was walking, looking up into the tree canopy into the light. Uh, the path shot where I had the light on the lake and, and it was silhouetting the, the trees. The image prior to this, again, going for the texture of the trees and the, and the light in the background. And then this one, where we've got this light in the background uh, from the sun, shielded by the cloud, and just highlighting the tree. I just love the way the Holger does render these images. And it goes to show that the Holger uh, can be used in, um, in, in lower light but you do need to uh, point the camera in the sort of right direction using that light that you've got to work to your advantage. Right, I've had enough now. I'm going 
but heading home, which is right down there in the valley. Now, my alarm's going off on my phone. I'm wet through. Shut up. I'm wet through, damp, to get this on top there. And basically, um, sometimes, I, I suppose it happens to us all, I feel guilty if I don't go out, if I don't go out with my camera. I don't know why, it's a bit silly. Uh, but I, were, I just thought I'd go out with it. Um, didn't know which camera to take. And it, it was quite bright when I set off, so I thought I'd take the holder. Uh, it was a bad choice because when I walked around the reservoir, the light was just getting dark and really, um, you know, with having a fixed uh, aperture and shutter speed, um, I don't think they're going to turn out very well. Anyway, I, I abandoned that and, and, and got onto the tops and I thought I'd try some uh, shots shooting into the sun with the holger. But um, I, I don't really know how the pictures are going to turn out. They'll probably be rubbish. But I, I've enjoyed it. I've been out, had a little walk. I'm going to go home now, develop, develop the negatives. Uh, whether they're good or bad, I'm going to show you them because uh, at the end of the day we can all uh, have bad days. So, uh, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, uh, please give me a like. Uh, better still, subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you all in the uh, next video. And hopefully it's uh, uh, better, better weather, better conditions.